we last left off with Ezio, we were bleeding from two gunshot wounds. We decided to get on a horse and ride all the way to Rome to meet Machiavelli. And of course, we didn't make it. We didn't plan properly. So we were passed out in the middle of the road. As you may have noticed in the van, I've oh, made some fuck. improvements okay. to the Animus, and I've also patched in a new VR training program. Here, you can show off all those ah. flashy moves you picked up from your ancestors. Let me open one in the mission. Fuck me! An ant's all over me! God damn. Well, I guess I have ants in my room. Alright. Keep your feet off the carpet, everything will be fine. Alright, short kill streak. Ow. Eh. Oh, damn it. This reminds me, I want to show you something. Oh, nice try, bro. Fine, fine. Go for the opening. No! Oh, damn it. That would have been really cool. Oh, that was cute. Yeah! Oh, well, that's the end of it anyway. Alright, 11. That's not bad. Okay. SHUT UP, BIRD! You can access more VR missions through the Animus desktop. As you can oh, this is my old save, so I can't see it. God damn it. Challenges. Never mind then. To stop your subconscious from rejecting Ezio's later memories, you're gonna have to live them in the order his genome recorded them. I like always. sequence two for me, Desmond. Good, now select it and you're gonna see the memories inside. I mean, I've played this Once before. you've unlocked a memory by accessing this menu, you can relive it as many times as you want. But what if there are memories I just want to forget? Ha ha ha. Desmond, this is very important. If you need to take a break, log out of the Animus. You can leave the machine whenever you like. I'm all set to go. Don't worry. One last thing. As you raise your synchronization by executing events the way Ezio lived them, Full synchronization. you might even discover some repressed memories. <gasps> we might have to okay, do let's this. get started. Select the first memory. All right, here we go. We don't have to do those repressed memories. I mean, I know what they are. Desmond, but, ooh, I've been looking good. at those gibberish five-digit codes from the end of Subject 16's files, and I seem to have discovered a remarkable coincidence. The codes correspond perfectly with coordinates inside the Animus. Okay. I've tagged the landmarks, pinpointed by the coordinates with eye icons in the database. Now, odds are you won't find anything there, but, well, who knows? Oh, that's right, more Subject 16 glyphs. Ride the unicorn sheet? I think I might have to check that out. Oh, hello, madam. Calmate, you. The pain will end soon. This is my favorite song in the Brotherhood soundtrack. What have you brought me? Nowhere, Messere. A man left you here. Did he say anything? Only this. You are to meet Messer Machiavelli in front of the Mausoleo di Augusto. Let me help you get dressed. I used to know about that mausoleum. The same man who brought me here gave me these clothes. See, si, Messere. I should be wearing mine! I have that exact gauntlet! I want to go put it on, as soon as this cutscene's done. See how awkward it is playing a video game with a gauntlet on my arm. Ah, uh, Roma. Roma. Yes, or what is left of it since the Borgia came to power. And the mausoleo? Unfortunately, you cannot see it from here. How about from the top of that church? Yes, but the stairs up are closed. That should not be a problem. Vi ringrazio di tutto quello che avete fatto per me, buona donna. Thank you very much for everything you've done for me. Farewell. A wilderness of tigers. Ooh, I'm still not doing very well. Find a doctor to heal the wounds from the villa attack, then climb to the church tower to locate the mausoleo di Augusto. Okay. Oh. I'm still in pain, little bit. 
I can't run either. Roma! You know what? Fuck it. Let's read about the city, shall we? Evidence suggests a human presence in the area of Rome for at least 10,000 years. That is amazing. The mythology of early Rome tells us that the city was founded by Romulus, who was raised in a cave with his brother Remus by a she-wolf. <laughs> Apparently, the two infant boys took their nourishment from her teat. A story like that must be true, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly what I was thinking. Archaeological evidence supports that Rome did in fact grow from pastoral settlements on Cole Palatino, the future site of the Roman Forum, oh, upon which there are several caves. Well, eventually the Republic of Rome was founded in 510 BCE. Wow. The successful and wealthy Republic gave birth to the Imperial Roman Empires in 27 BCE, which were sprawling territories ruled by succeeding emperors. When the Empire fell in 476, 476 I guess just, I should say, and the Roman Catholic Church took power in 756, like, holy crap, like 300 years later, Rome continued to be both an economic and cultural powerhouse in Europe. In the mid-14th century, Florence surpassed Rome as the epicenter of the Italian Renaissance. This irked the papacy to no end, so they set about sending, spending vast amounts of money and resources, commissioning architects and artists to create masterworks in an effort to bring the focus back to Rome. Hmm. The result of this vanity-driven ambition, vanity-driven ambition, was an unmatched creative and scientific output that is still marveled over today. It is safe to say that Rome is, historically, one of the most important cities in Western history, and arguably the world. I will definitely agree with that. God, I would love to go to Rome. I need to find the doctor. There's so much ancient history there. Whenever someone asks me, like, you know, where my ideal vacation would be, I pick places like Egypt or Greece or Rome, where all this ancient uh. mythology and ancient history still, exi still exists. I base all my vacations around that. Historically significant places just make my heart go, <gasps> and when I found out, my sister went uh, on, like, a three-week uh, trip. My arm. Shut up. I know, you're hurting. I mean, I apologize, mentor, but still. Um, when my sister took like three weeks to go and travel around Europe with this group, she went to Paris, and she oh, got to go to Versailles, and she got to go in the Palace of Versailles, and wander around the gardens, which she said was like the best part of the whole trip. I envy her so much now. I always knew she went to France and Paris. I never knew she went to Versailles, oh, and that makes merda. me so fucking mad. But anyway, I'd love to go there one day. Salute. I require medicine. Ah, let me look. Someone your age cannot recover from a wound like this with medicine. Here is something to dull the pain. You will heal over time. Grazie. Four out of five doctors would suggest leeches, but they have not proven effective against such things. However, I can recommend several good colleagues around the city. Do you need anything else? No, that will do it. Thank you. Are you suffering the infernal swamp malaria? <laughs> right bumper and select midis. It. Okay. All right, I'm, I'm good to go. Someone my age. <laughs> it's one of my favorite lines in the game. He's just like, fuck you. <laughs> Works just fine. Okay, uh, I'm gonna climb up this way. My back. Big. You're not supposed to say that until another game, sir. My back. That's a feather! Should I get it? No! Fuck you! I'm done collecting feathers. Alright, up we go. Oh, God damn it. I'm getting the tinglies all over the place since I have ants on me. I didn't think they were over here. I found red ants next to my bed last night. I sprayed them, thought I got them all, but apparently they're over here too. Lovely. All right, synchronize. Our first viewpoint. Yay! Ah, <sighs> beautiful city. I love the sky, though. The sky effects are easily like one of my favorite um, things graphically in this game. Ah, it's just it's beautiful. I love it. There's the Colosseo. There's the Pantheon. There's the Castel Sant'Angelo and um. Basilica de San Pietro, I think? Someone's riding around on a horse. Alright, down we go! Yay! Word has gone out that a peasant is resisting arrest. We will show him how things operate under the Borgia. Well, you guys are assholes. Really can wait. Yes, he can indeed. Alright, it's time to follow these pricks. Now, I have to remember there's no 
lean and peek out from side of wall in this game. <laughs> you were supposed to aim for the haystack, but okay. Piazza di Spagna? Wait a minute, I missed that. I want to read about that. Um, database. I was gonna show you, um, virtual training and how many, and, like, the progress I've made in it. I don't know how I fare in the leaderboards anymore. But, uh, I played the virtual training program for, like, three days straight. And, um, I got all gold medals. And I got to the top of the leaderboard in every single thing. I was number one in all of them. And it was fucking awesome. I don't know if that stands... Oh, excuse me. I don't know if that stands anymore since that was, like, two years ago. But, anyway, recent entries. Named after the Spanish embassy to the Holy See, the piazza became one of Rome's most popular meeting places. Okay. Notably, the romantic poet John Keats spent his final hours in a flat overlooking the piazza. A thing of beauty is a joy forever. Except when you're about to die of tuberculosis. That's what TB is, right? Tuberculosis? I think so. Where are these guys off to? Actually, there is. Don't bug me, I'm working. Oh! I thought he was about to turn around. There is no money left. How can there be business? They taxed it all away to no good use. Isn't that what politicians do best? What's your problem? Speaking of politicians, I don't want to get into a political debate here, but if Donald Trump ends up being elected president of the United States, I am fucking moving to a different country. I swear to Christ, I will go to Canada. And anyone who votes for him is probably the only reason they're supporting him is because he's Republican. They're not even listening to what he's saying. They just, well, he's Republican, so I'm gonna vote Republican, which is fucking retarded. As well, as political parties are like the stupidest thing you can do in this in, in, in this at this time. If someone isn't labeled a Democrat or labeled a Republican, these brain dead voters would actually have to pay attention to what the candidates are saying and vote non biasedly based on that. I don't see how that could hurt at all. But anyway, I'm not here to talk politics. I'm just I'm really upset that Donald Trump is actually running for president and that he's still in the running. Like, oh shit. Okay, enough for my political debate. It's time to kill some guards. About time to- YOU BITCH! No, leave him alone! Ow. I gotta get better at this game. Bitch. Done. My health bar is really low too. Like, it's, it's tiny, so I gotta, I gotta pay attention. Hey, I did it! Oh, Man, that sucks. She was beautiful. <laughs> she was. Until that porco defiled her. I wish he'd just killed her. I wish he'd just killed La Mia Mata. People who saw her grow up cheered when he spat on her. Smiles on their faces when her neck... I understand. How can you? My Livia was innocent! I have lost family to the rope. To treachery. Il Carnefici watches from his home on the hill above. He threatens to hang me if I cut her rope. Il Carnefici lives on the hill overlooking the gallows. Locate and kill the prick. Absolutely! Kill your target with a hidden blade. Alright, I will do that. When you are ready, take her down. I will deal with Il Carnefice. Actually, no I won't. I've gotten full sync in this game... How many times have I played it? I think I played through this game three times. And, uh... Yeah. I'm not gonna go for full sync anymore. I'm gonna use it as a guide on what not to do. So it's asking me to kill the target with a hidden blade. I am going to force myself out of my comfort zone. And I am gonna do something else. Um, what do I have? I do have poison. Alright, I'm gonna use poison. Technically that's hidden blade, but hopefully it doesn't count. Ugh. Itchy. Lock on your target, press X to perform an air assassin. I don't wanna air assassinate him. I want to poison him! Okay, he's in there. 
I'm gonna go up here just to see, but I'm not gonna nice jump on him. Down there. Ow. Unless, I'm wait. Not my bed. Oh, fuck it, I'll use a gun. But it's hard to make art with poor materials. Make art by hanging somebody? You're one twisted freak. Oh. Do these guys see me if I poke out? Yes, they will. Okay. Uh. I suppose I could just shoot him from the roof. Button is it to shoot? Oops. Oh, bam! There we go. <laughs> I didn't air assassinate him, and I didn't use my hidden blade. Good enough for me. Full sync fail. Requiescat in pace. Requiescat in pace. Bastardo. Ah. Hello. You know what? I feel like fight, so I'm gonna kill you all. Um, can you- Ow! Sword, please! Thank you. Oh, get off me. Well, you strike quickly, don't you? Bitch! Ow. Okay, wait, what button is it? Is it hold B when I do the thing? Um, ow. Nope, it's not hold B. Oops, didn't mean to do that, but okay, I picked up a sword. Maybe it's hold X. Hold on, let me try it again. Oh, I can't because they they surrendered. Okay. I know, Sing failed, but fuck it. Drop it. Thank you, Jesus. All right, now if if the full sink, I said this in Rogue, but if the full sink adds to challenge, like don't swim or do this within the given time, don't be detected, stuff like that, then I'll do it. But if it's kill your target in this specific way, I'm gonna do the opposite. I want to add challenge to this. Speaking of which, I can't believe I didn't do this before. But I'm gonna do the same thing I did in uh, Assassin's Creed 2 and 1. I am going to remove certain parts of my HUD, which are in here. Okay, so all I have on are my updates for Animus entries when they pop up. I want to see those. And um, my minimap. Everything else is off. God damn it! Well, I couldn't. Uh, I, I, I don't have time for this. 